Hi everybody, this is Maria from Book of Shadows. Um, I thought I'd just give you a, a show of my... This is my book that I've made on um, out of square paper. It's just pretty much... That's what it is, that's pretty good. So I glued, I glued it all down the binding all this bit was glued along here and I sawed, sawed little marks through the binding to glue the actual pages to the actual paper which is um, pretty awesome but the paper I covered it with is just gorgeous I mean look at that I love it it's glittery and colourful and green which is very herbally so I thought I'd give you a flip through of my herbal journal. So on the first page we have just a five minute um, ginger and pineapple juice and this just basically gives you the ingredients and the directions to use. And then on the second page you've got did you know and it just tells you about this stuff. That's good ginger is good for like sore throats especially if you gargle with it. And then we have the watermelon juice with ginger and lemongrass and the ingredients and some garnish use lemongrass as well. And then we have directions for that one on the other side here. This one is a peppermint and lemonade and then we have the directions, garnish and stuff like ingredients. So very much. And then on that side it's just notes and stuff and it tells you I've always underlined stuff or put something coloured great for summer and then we have the garlic turkey okra and potato soup which sounds fantastic I haven't tried that one yet but it does sound nice and the directions for that stripped bass with tomatoes corn and basil now I've had something similar but I didn't use all the ingredients and this is a fabulous recipe and of course the directions and then we have some most common herbs and these are perennials and then we have the aloe and then the catnip chives and funnel there are some more and um, we have the ginger obviously and the lavender and then on this side we have the lemon balm and then some more here we have the mint, the oregano, rosemary, sage, St John's wort and thyme, of course the lemon, lemon verbena. This page is just something I got from the Doctrine and the Ritual Magic Books by Alphys Levi um, and it's just a superstition about stuff. I just thought it'd be ideal to add that to my book. This, now we have magical uses and the term magical uses, which basically means incense, oils and savvies and dry burning, wet burning, sacrificial, talismatic, emblem, sachets, mixtures, sleep pillows, dry use, alchemy. And um, note, um, the alchemy is not just for working of metals, okay? You can use it for flowers, plants and stuff like that. And correspondences, wood base, wood, and uh, baths, dyes, candles, and divination. Divination, sorry. So that is that part. Then we go on to, I have spells in here too. Not very many, but I have spells and stuff. We have chants, I mean, as well as spells. This one is the fire worship incantation. And then we have the common, the most common annuals the other one was perennials this is common annuals the ones that are yearly which are obviously basil dill and garlic then we move into the infusions and do sort of just things i put positive do enjoy this is the decoctions and then we have the tinctures and we have the dosage, which is important to make sure you always read the dosages and make sure you read the dosage properly. The tea dosage, 
you know, the, the tea. And this one is, this page I have got the Home Herbal Hints Rebirth of Herbology. So, and then we also have little things in red and green. This one is all drugs have side effects. Some usually considered harmless. List 30, 40 possible different side effects. Some are very serious. So, of course, our body is a living organism, not a machine. Plants have complementary actions on the body, while drugs have only chemical actions. They have no life force and therefore cannot impart life force. Okay, and then we have some more little bits here and there about drugs and what they do in plants and stuff like that. Then we go into this page. This page is my spice rack page. And now it's got, it says, look in the folder of herbs, page on two, the second folder. And that's just where I keep my spice rack magic in there. This this part then it goes into herbal preparation. And then it, it gives you a bit more details into herbal teas, tinct tinctures, syrups, capsules, and balms and savvies. So this is the poultices as well, the poultices. But then we go into the savvies first. And the herb, herbal infused oil. Let's go to here. Methods and preparation. And herbal teas. There's a note here. It says, watch the pot and add water as it evaporates. For the, Obviously, that's for the other one. I'm also for that's for the hot and cold, the hot extract one. So that's what that is for. Herbal teas there, infusions there, and decoctions as well for that one. And then we have tinctures, and the best ones to use for tinctures are alcohol, vegetable, glycerin, or vinegar. And then we have syrups, which I've never tried the syrup on, even though they're in here, I've never used it. This is how to make syrup and the directions and everything there. Also, we have capsules. Now, I never knew we had the capsules in herbs. I mean, I know you can buy some, but I never knew. But what you can do is you can pull the capsules apart if you need some, some sort of ingredients and just break the capsules in half and there you have a little bit of herb of whatever you want which you already have them in the house so as you're going out to buy a certain herb and you've got a new capsule so that's good then we go into compresses and poultices how to make compresses and poultices now this to make the poultice upon you should and I only got far as three to that bit there and I hadn't finished it so I literally have a lot more pages as you can see I mean the best thing about this book is you can still write on it like keep it flat and I'm just dying for it to fall apart so I can see how long it lasted but I don't want to do too much work in it because it's just going to fall apart. So it doesn't look like it's going to fall apart very very soon, so that's good. But I've already pulled a few pages out from the middle. Obviously that was the part where it didn't get glued properly, but hey-ho. It's pretty awesome anyway. I love this book, it's great. Anyway, if you loved my videos, and I'm due to make some more soon, sorry I've been a bit behind. I have a busy life at the moment, it's um, very busy. But if you do like my channel, please like and subscribe my videos, and I shall make some more soon. Thank you very much. Bye.